In this lesson, we'll show you how to create a footing schedule, using the model that you see on the screen as an example from which to work. To start creating your footing schedule, first go to the View tab, and under the Create panel, click Schedules and select Schedule slash Quantities. You'll see a variety of categories, but we're going to choose Structural Foundations. When you click OK, you'll have the opportunity to set all the different fields that you want to include in your schedule. As always, make sure that you're making your decisions based upon the needs of your project or what makes the most sense. For us, we're going to choose Type as one of the fields that we include, and we're also going to scroll up and we are going to choose Count so that we can keep an accurate count in the project of the number of footings we add in. So we will also choose elevation at bottom, so we can see the elevation at the bottom of our footing, as well as foundation thickness. Once you've selected all your fields, note that you can change the order in which they appear in the schedule itself. You can customize this, again, based upon what makes the most sense for your project. Once you've adjusted the order as you need, click on the Filters tab. In this case, we aren't going to filter anything out, but here is where you would go if you wanted to hide certain elements. Next you'll go to the Sorting slash Grouping tab, where you will sort by type first. You can sort by additional parameters. Additionally, you can itemize every instance, or just choose to show the grand totals of everything. That's what we're going to do here. So click that checkbox, and then go to the Formatting tab. From here, you can adjust a variety of formatting options for your different fields, but we're just going to choose Count, and have it calculate the totals. Lastly, Click on the Appearance tab if you want to make any changes to the graphical settings. We're not going to, though, so just hit OK, and your schedule is set. You'll see it appear after a couple of seconds of loading. You'll notice that it looks very much like an Excel spreadsheet, and can be modified in much the same way.